Hi, welcome to Grand Stream Latin America YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and today I am going to show you how you could block applications and DNS requests in our GWN7000 series router. So let's check this out. First, we will need to sign in in our router. So we type the username and the password. Okay. Now that we are signed, then we will need to go to the network settings and then network acceleration and disable the hardware acceleration. So we will need to do that so the router can allow us to inspect the packets that's going through it. Otherwise it is going too fast and the packets cannot be inspected. Okay. Now we can go to traffic management and then basic settings and enable the traffic inspection which is the traffic identification on this router okay now we will need to go to the firewall the traffic rules the inbound rules and create a new inbound rule in this case we're going to try to block it tip so let's name it block it tip we can use the protocol type as all and then on the content security we will need to enable now we have three fields. So for DNS filtering, we will create a rule for certain DNS. Okay, on this case, we're gonna drop the packet that's going through that DNS. For the application filtering, we will create a rule for an app, and a specific app, and we'll drop all the requests going to that app. And it will also work for the URL filtering, which we're not going to use in this video, but can allow us to block or allow some pages inside a specific domain, but will only work for HTTP pages at the moment. Okay, so now let's try to create a DNS filtering. So let's click on add. We can name it as Plug YouTube. Then on the filtered DNS, we will have to enter the actual URL. In this case, let's type youtube.com okay now we'll click on save now that we have created just need to select it okay now create a new app filtering so we'll click on add we can name it as black youtube and now we need to look for the media streaming services as youtube as you can see there are a lot of other applications that you could block easily but in this case, we can only use uh, YouTube for the moment. So now they have selected, I click on save. And now that they have created a rule, just need to select. Then let's click on save. And the rule has been created at the bottom. So let's try to drag it to the top. So it will be the first priority. Then we will go to the forwarding rules and also add a new forwarding rule. We can name it the same, let's plug YouTube, then the same protocol type as all, and then the source group is going to be from where this request will come from. In this case, is our LAN, okay, so it is already selected by default, and the destination group is where this request will go through. In this case, let's select all the one, okay. So now we select this and we also need to enable the content security and select these rules. Black YouTube and also app filtering for Black YouTube as we have done that. Okay, it has been created at the bottom, so let's drag it to the top. Right. Okay, so if you are wondering what's the difference between the inbound rules and the forwarding rules, is because on the inbound rules is when the actual router is being the first DNS request. And for the forwarding rule is when you use external DNSs like Google search some other DNS. So now let's try to visit YouTube. Let's type um, youtube.com. We could see the page keeps loading and would not go through. Okay, 
Now let's try to do the same with the phone. We could see it. we opened the app, but there is no content being loaded. Right? So let's try to disable these rules and see what's happening. Now, you can refresh the page and try to visit gtf.com. Gtf.com, you can see the content is being loaded. It'll happen the same with the app. Let's now press the app and you can see the content is being loaded now. I hope this video has helped you out and uh, you could see how this application block could be easily implemented on these new routers. So, hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!